If you're like me, then you've probably thought about gambling on a mystery box dozens and dozens of times. I mean, every mainstream company seems to have one nowadays, and they're offered in so many different shapes and sizes. But my main concern has always been, are they even worth it? Join me today as I find out with my first mystery box unboxing. So let's see what I got after spending $250 on Evix Box of Awesomeness. Right away, I pulled out the insane EMG SGR12. Retailing for $389 US, the SGR12 is a fully automatic electric shotgun from SEMA, firing three BBs at the same time per trigger pull across both semi and full auto modes. And I think this right here, this is why mystery boxes are so popular. I mean, what a unique platform, an absolute head turner on and off the field, and a replica that I truly never expected to see in my possession. Moving on, we scored a Phantom Gear Wraith T3 plate carrier in black. Retailing for 79 USD, this middle of the road plate carrier is complete with mock front and back plates, as well as full side panel mag pouches, allowing for just a lot of real estate when it comes to setting up your kit. The T3 is a really nice quality and durable rig that I'd probably steer any middle of the road or even newbie airsofters towards if they were looking to get something that's gonna last them a long time. Next up, I pulled out an absolutely iconic gas blowback pistol, the Cybergun Desert Eagle once again in black. Retailing for 159 US dollars, this beast of a CO2 powered hand cannon has both semi and full auto capabilities. And let's be honest, every collection could use a Desert Eagle. And for the last item, I pulled out a rifle sized panel section of the EMG battle wall system. Retailing for 49 USD, this is a clean way to organize and display your builds, but if I'm being totally honest, I think you can get more real estate and spend less money by going with a nice generic pegboard or some system like that. Additionally, there was a patch and an EVIC playing card at the bottom of the box. I'm not up to speed with what these playing cards are for, so if anybody can go ahead and let me know quickly in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. So all in all, after spending $250 on this mystery box, I am absolutely satisfied with the return on investment. I mean, I essentially received an entire kit, an insanely unique primary platform, an iconic sidearm, a high quality plate carrier, and a wall mount to display it all, all for $250 US dollars. Looking at the total retail cost of all of the items received, it adds up to about $670 in retail cost. So yeah, after spending only $250, I'd say the EVIC Box of Awesomeness is absolutely worth it, assuming you're pretty open-minded about what you may receive. And if you're not open to all those possibilities, well then mystery boxes just aren't for you. As always, thanks for checking out the video guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Go ahead and hit that bell if you want to be notified when my next full build video goes live. It's great to be back, and I'll see you guys in the next one.